Hey everyone, how's it going? So I realized I never made a video about this car. Um, so yeah, this is a quick introduction video to my 1988 Suzuki Alto Works RSR. Um, I imported it from Japan. If you have any import questions, I'm going to leave the description down below. I bought from Japan Car Direct. I've had the car about for 8 months now, so no complaints. They were really nice. process was easy. So yeah, let's get started. So the this is the second generation Suzuki Alto. It was actually the first K car to meet the 64 horsepower limit of the K cars uh, at that time period. Reason I chose this car is just crazy cool. So the previous owners did do some modifications, like you see here, the rims are aftermarket. But yeah, this car's got stickers all over it. It is very 80s style. Um, so as you see here, this is the RSR model, which is four-wheel drive, a uh, full-time four-wheel drive, they like to tell you. You know, even here in the detail on the rear windshield wiper, it tells you twin cam. So there's a lot of cool little tidbits, and that's one of the reasons why I bought this car. And as we go through this video, if I see any, I'll point them out to you. Um, so it's a K car. You know, it's actually pretty roomy. No one's going to ever sit in the back seat. There is actually a bench seat back there. But in terms of the driver's position, I was surprised because I'm six foot, you know, six foot one, and actually fit pretty well. So you know, the design's pretty impressive. We'll kind of go through the interior in a bit because the interior is just as crazy as the exterior. It's got these purple navyish seats. Um, but yeah, in terms of the engine, so there's a functional air uh, hood scoop, which is really cool. It feeds into the intercooler. The car came in really good condition. It's a little bit dirty, but I need to clean it. So yeah, it's a EPI fuel injection. And please excuse me right now as I'm you know trying to open up the hood and failing. It's got a small three-cylinder 550 cc engine. It's pretty much like a motorcycle engine. It revs up to nine to ten thousand RPM. If you look at the engine block, it's like the size of the battery, and that battery is like motorcycle size battery. But you know, it's a three cylinder, it sounds really good. There's some sound clips that I'll show on uh, later during this video. Um, mechanically, when I got the car, you know, I got checked out from a friend, no issues. So now we're going to the exciting interior. Um, you know, the crazy purple seats. Sorry, I just got off soccer practice. So, you know, the crazy sound system the person put here. I love the detail of the seats. The full time four wheel drive is on the seats, it's got this crazy purple. So the other option, which I was looking for but could never find, is the other Alto interior option is pink. Hot pink and black. Um, even just, you know, the, the air conditioning knobs are really cool. You know, the interior is just retro. It's cool. It's awesome. Um, see there, you know, it revs up to 10,000 RPMs. They did put a aftermarket boost gauge on there. Um, they, again, they put in a crazy sound system. There's actually no radio in it, so I haven't heard it yet, but that's one of the next things I plan on doing. And here's a sound clip. 